You'll have to excuse the background noise. I've got two fans blown. It's 33 degrees in the shade here. Just a lovely day in Thailand. I hope your weather is just as nice. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about inbred hatred. Inbred hatred. As a Geordie, I was brought up in Wall's End. We had Catholic schools and Protestant schools, your normal. But I never witnessed religious hatred. Never. I actually played as a, uh, when I was 15, 14, 15, I actually played football for the Catholic school in the, in the youth club. I had Catholic girlfriends. Uh, I was born, my parents baptized me a Protestant, but I never went voluntarily to church in my whole life. Uh, I'm a nothing. I don't th say I'm an atheist or nothing. I think uh, the 12 commandments that uh, somebody brought down off a mountain, people need rules to live by. And I think that was a good set of rules. Other than that, religion, I quite respect other people's religion. As I said, my wife was a Catholic from Pardick in Glasgow. Uh, I can't remember the school, but she was the first one to let me know about uh, religious problems in Glasgow. St Aquinas, St Aquinas school she went to. And she said, when she uh, filled in a form application for a job, they always asked what school you went to. And as soon as she put on St Aquinas and a lot of firms in Glasgow, you, you wouldn't get a job. And she explained that, that uh, this all comes from left over from Ireland with all the, her own family that was Connolly's, uh, came over from uh, Ireland, still, still have family in Ireland, religious Catholics. And when I wanted to marry the daughter, I didn't have a problem. My wife went to church, Catholic church, at least twice a week, confession and everything. But when she said she wanted a dispensation for marrying uh, a Protestant, the Catholic Irish priest turned around and said, I'd rather see you dead than marry a... What I witnessed as a soldier in Northern Ireland was again an eye-opener for me. I just didn't believe this Catholic and Protestant hatred. Uh, later on, okay, I studied uh, Irish history and I understand how they used to massacre each other in the name of God. And I think uh, a lot of Irish people are starting to wise up now about religion. That uh, when you see what the nuns did, the uh, unmarried mothers putting them in uh, workhouses, burying their babies in mass in cesspits. I think even uh, the problem is education. You start educating people and they, they turn around and question the religion. And a lot of people are doing that, both with the Protestant church and the Catholic church. Let me say, what, what about the Church of England? We've only got the Church of England because Henry VIII couldn't get his end away. What a fucking great reason to have a church. But he called himself the Pope. Uh, you look, I mean, say the Catholic Church, how many people did the massacre in, in uh, Spain, in the Inquisition, the, uh, all the, the wars against uh, the Saladin and the Muslims and Jerusalem? Religion has a lot to answer for. And again, now we're suffering from, again, Jew against uh, Muslim. Uh, we're kicking in. America and, and the UK are kicking in to help the Jews. The Jews aren't angels, okay? They've got a lot to answer for as well. Uh, but what happened to them was, to me, like the, uh, the Nazis did to them. How you can come over, call yourself a soldier, uh, Hamas, and kill unarmed, innocent civilians, women and children. 
This is evil. This is not really. If, you, if that's religion, right, it's so sick. So the Muslim religion have a lot to answer for, just like the Catholic religion, the Protestant religion. They've all murdered and killed in the name of God. Thank God I'm a nothing. Well, anyway, you've got to have a solution. My solution, when you go to the beach in Tenerife, for instance, or even here in Thailand, families come on holiday and bring the children. You see, the children, they can't even communicate in the same language, but they end up playing with each other. Chinese kids playing with uh, Thai kids, Thai kids with uh, Western kids. The children have no problem. So where does the problem begin? At school, by your educators. What is the simple solution for trying to make the world a better place? Stop religion at school. All schools must be integrated into different religions. You can't have a, a Muslim school, a Catholic school and a Protestant school. They must be uh, mixed and uh, on an equal basis. That's the only way to start solving problems, education and school. Now, I teach children, all the parents come here. They know that me, they trust me. They often sit in the class with me and learn a bit of English with me. I don't mind, in fact, I enjoy them taking pictures and I enjoy them having a video because I don't want to be uh, sat with children on my own and saying, oh, he's a paedophile, he's this. Because it's so easy for these left-wing idiots and right-wing idiots to uh, call you different things. So uh, being monitored as, a, as an educator is, a to me, is a necessary good thing. So all schools should have a camera in the classroom where the parents can monitor the teacher and the children. So making the world a better place, that's how I would start. Saturday and Sunday, they can go and do the religious thing. But in the week, school uniform, no identification of religion, no education of religion in schools. And that is the first step in making this world a better place. One more thing I'd like to add on is when I was at school, about twice a year, we used to have what was called a, a dicky nurse. So this nurse used to come down and she'd inspect your hair, make sure you've not got nits. You'd have to go in with your underpants on or you, the girls with their knickers on. She'd make sure you got a set of balls and a cock and that you hadn't been... Uh, no religion had uh, cut you in any way or form. Same with the girls. Let me say, this religions that cut a boy's uh, foreskin off and the girls' clippers off are fucking evil. And they've got, if you want to live in England or the United Kingdom and you're prepared to cut things off your children, you've got no place living in the United Kingdom. Fuck off to where you came from.